call him a few times with the phone, let's keep hanging out. I even call him WhatsApp. Good. Yeah, just in case it might have been something wrong with the main hey, company, the cost of the WhatsApp. Because it ring up because of the internet. All right, we good. We good. All right. All right. Shalom. 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 We want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akakwadash. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone and salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom. All right. We out here another week to prophesy what the Bible says, not our own hearts. Okay? We are here to tell our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that they are the Israelites according to the scriptures. And if you don't believe that, to hell with you. Okay? Because at the end of the day, prophecy is moving forward. There are all type of things that are happening in the world. All right, let's start off with Luke 21 and 36. This is Luke 21. 36 watch ye therefore and pray always watch ye therefore and pray always why that he may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass that shall come to pass and that's what we're going to get into today all these things that shall come to pass that are going to happen according to biblical prophecy because no other book prophesize like the Bible, okay? And our job is to come out here to say before it happens to warn our people, whether they hear or whether they forbear. The things that are in the Bible are going to happen. It doesn't matter what you feel, doesn't matter what you think about it. Oh, brother, your interpretation, your interpretation, your interpretation. Don't, I don't, we don't want to hear that shit. Go ahead, you got it. It's the book of uh, 1 yes, Peter, yes, chapter 4. Oh, so go ahead. Go ahead. It says, That he may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. That's right, because the Son of Man is coming back. Yes. Okay? So, regardless of what, whatever problems you got with the Hebrew Israelites, whatever problem you got with this camp or that camp, the Lord is coming back. That's right. right. He's coming. That's right. And nobody on this planet Earth can stop him from coming back. That's right. So, we better get. We. We are preaching to you, but we know that this goes for us even double fold. Because we're the ones telling you. So we can't be hypocrites and not do what the Bible says do. All right? So when I say you, I'm speaking about all of us. You that are listening and that are going to listen, you got to do your best to follow what the Bible says. Okay? Go ahead. Uh, this is 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 7. It says, But the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. Okay? Being sober-minded. Okay? And also, you ain't supposed to be out here drunk uh, uh, and belligerent either. Just out of your goddamn mind, always drunk. No, you're not supposed to be doing that either. But that's talking about being sober-minded. Knowing what the fuck is going on. Knowing what, what's going on. You got to, because the Bible was written to Israelites, so we're speaking to our people. Sir. You got a lot of people that don't know what the hell is going on. Okay, you have uh, killed Bill Gates uh, a couple years back, or a couple months, uh, what it was, uh, last year, two years ago. They released genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida. Mm -hmm. And now you have what? Oh, malaria is here. You gotta, you gotta, come on, man. You people, you, you gotta, you gotta wake up, snap out of it. You ain't, if you ain't catch, if, if you don't, you, you like a surfer, a surfer will rise the waves. If you miss the wave, you ain't gonna be able to ride. You gotta, you gotta know. Uh, give me a uh, put man. Give me that. One of y'all, get real quick. Get it, put man. This is Second Corinthians two and verse eleven. Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. And who? Satan. Satan is a spiritual being, Satan, but also he has sons on the planet Earth, the so-called white man. Okay? The so-called white man is under that banner. He's Satan's son. The Edomites. The adversary. That's right. The adversary. Go ahead. 
lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. All right, so before this shit even pop off, we're going to tell you plainly, straight up, okay? Don't take the, the, uh, the MV, okay? When they talking about uh, Laria, don't take it. The same way we told y'all don't take the first one, and you went ahead and still took it. Now you all fucked up. Now you should be listening. Come on, man. So we, we ain't just up here just talking. Right. Okay? They put it out there. They create the problem and give you a solution. Mm -hmm. right. Okay? Yep. So when the lights go out, don't get on the bus. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? All don't the dream. Yeah, come on. We got food down here in this. Don't get on that bus. Whatever this man is trying to give you, it ain't for your good. Right. He's not here to help you. That's right. You, you Israelites gotta, gotta wake the fuck up, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I understand, life is hard. Life is hard, but it's simple. I'm gonna say that again. Life is hard, but it's simple. Keep it simple. Okay, if you see something that's wrong, you're supposed to have antennas up. Okay, damn, that don't look right. Why is, why is this man playing with mosquitoes? <laughs> see something, say something. You're supposed to warn the flock. You're supposed to warn the flock. The Lord said that, Ezekiel 317. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, I hear the word of my mouth and give them warning for me. We, we have to warn the people on the side because well, guess what? He's our people and the Lord is going to choose from among them whom so he will. That's right. But the majority of our people, whether they know they're Israelites or they don't, they're not going to give an outcry. They don't care about what's going on. Yeah. Okay. They don't care. They, their main, what they're focused on is the BT Awards. JT just threw a phone at Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, 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 Will Smith slapped Chris Rock. They worried about these different things, and they're so filled with black culture. Yep. They don't give a fuck about what's going on. They don't care about how they said we're coming for your children. Right. Okay. They don't give a fuck about that. They don't yep. give a fuck about how they said the next the next virus that's gonna come is gonna be very deadly. They don't give a fuck about that, right. man. They don't care that Joe Biden said not too long ago that hey, a famine is coming. Right. Okay? They don't give a fuck about that World War Three is literally about to pop the fuck off. Right. They don't give a fuck. They, they don't give a fuck. These do they know what's going on. Because they're in that they're in gross darkness, right? Man. That's that, that that's, gross. that's gross darkness. How we gross know darkness. how we know that how we can prove that by the scriptures, what the brother's saying is on point. Because guess what? The scriptures call our people. Most of our people rebellious and stiff-necked, and not only that, they just prophesied, okay, Zechariah 13 and 8, that three, okay, two out of every three Israelites are going to die, man. They're going to die because the two-thirds, like what the brother is saying, they ain't going to adhere to the words of the Lord. They, they, they despise the word of the Lord, man. And that's why the judgment is going to meet them wherever it meet them, man. Right. But they ain't going to be able to escape the hand of the Lord. That's right, because you can fool man. You know, right. but you can't fool the Most High. Right. You know, the Most High knows where your heart at. See, because because the Most High is about to, he's about to, uh, 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 he's about to try everybody here on this planet Earth. Okay, we had a, we had a trial run with the jabs. Okay, and a lot of you men fell. You let your woman bully you into it. You know, your, your job bullied you, your boss bullied you, your co-workers bullied you into getting it, your grandma, your family, and you knew it was wrong. Showing you that you're not a real man. You're not a real man. And you know it. And you're going to listen to this and you're going to get cut. And you might leave a comment under right. them effeminate men. And when the lights go out, guess what? You're going to listen to your woman and you're going to die. They're going to they're gonna get cut they're going to leave a comment on why you cursing with the Bible yeah. in your head? Why you cursing with the Bible in your But what about what I'm saying? Right. Am I wrong? <laughs> Did you not take it? Right. Mm. Right. Mm. Did you get bullied? Right. As a man, you're supposed to stand on moral and integrity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to stand on what you believe in. You're yeah. supposed to lead. And what you say, your wife and your household are supposed to follow. If you the real man. That's okay, so a lot of people got felt like they got bullied into it and now they, they got something called V injuries. But, but what you mean bully though? What, yeah. what, what do you mean by bully? Social media bully. Because they had this thing going on where, you know, if you ain't take the V, you was looked at, you was looked down upon. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so here it is. 
you don't know what's in this thing. This thing just popped up and say, and you felt bullied and taken. You deserve what you got. Now I look at you now. Bro, you you love the world. You that's love the what, world. That's what it is. James 4 and 4. Yeah. You love yeah. the world. You that's love right. the world. You love this miserable life. Mm -hmm. For you Israelites, another, another thing too, for you Israelites, for those that know that you are Israelites that took it, man, all right? Because, you know, I didn't want to make, you know, make my wife mad and this and that. Yeah, I, I don't want to make my wife mad. Right. You love the world, man. Okay? Hey, you love, if you love the world, the love of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai is not within you, It's not within you. Because if you knew, you know you got to do something right. You know what's right and what's wrong. The shit had horseshoe crab, uh, you know, <laughs> in it. <laughs> you niggas, man, y'all make me sick. <laughs> right. And I'm talking to you men first. That's right. Yeah. You, 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 you know, I see why the Lord is just going to clean house. Yeah. I see why. Because mm -hmm. if I'm mad, imagine the most high. He's going to clean house with you, nigga. He's like, going to come through and he's going to get busy with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. This is James 4 and 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the most high. So you niggas, okay, in order to keep your miserable job, your miserable life, to still sleep with your miserable whore every night, she forced you or they forced you to take something you didn't want to do. Nigga, you already poor. You already ain't got shit. What the fuck did you have to lose? You see? My wife, man. My wife. My kids, man. You niggas are crazy, man. My job. My so, job. So man. what do you think is what you think the, them damn uh elites about to do now when the lights go out? You think this one gonna be pretty? A small disturbance. So if you think you got bullied a couple months ago, just imagine what's about to happen now. See a rude awakening is coming. A rude awakening is coming. If you don't gird up your mind, if you don't stand on business, what they what they say, stand on business and righteousness, and believe in the Lord and repent and be a man, you and your family just might die. Not only you, but you got children. Nobody has more children than the Israelite man. You got the most children. This is Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. It says, A prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself, but a simple pass on and are punished. There you go. You're going to be punished. Why? Because you didn't listen. You didn't listen, man. And it's about to happen. You niggas don't know what the fuck is going on. But, hey, that's how it's supposed to be. I got time. You got to go. Let me go more, honey. So what you got? Okay, fine. Back in James 4 and 4, it says, Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. So, if you love this world, you're willing to sell out. See, the, the word sell out, you niggas sold out. The word sell out doesn't mean taking millions of dollars. If you corrupted your moral and integrity to open your arm, you sold out to this world. Right. Hey, if you're not preaching the truth, but you preach the opposite of the truth, you sold out. Sold out. You're an agent. Right. You're an agent. Yeah, because right. the scripture said there's no lie in the truth. No, no lies of the truth. Now the truth is pure. The words of the Lord is pure, which is truth. If, if, if any lie or deceit is found anywhere, it can't be found in the truth because the truth is the truth. That's right. But if you're speaking anything other than the truth, it's right. a lie or deceit. It's only one truth. Right. right. There's not many truths. Right. There's one Bible. There's one truth. There's one right interpretation of the Bible. Right. One. There's not many. Uh, put that right here. So these uh, demons won't walk by. And, and, and I don't give a fuck how they look. They might look innocent. These people are demons. If you don't care about the Lord and His Son, you're a demon. That's right. The fuck? You're an idolater. You're a demon. This is second, second Ezra 5 and 1. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the days come, shall come, 
that they which dwell upon earth shall be taken in great numbers. Good riddance, man. That's right. Good riddance. <laughs> That's right. Okay? I'm tired of looking at tapes and shit. Right. Clean cut niggas. Right. I'm tired of them. Right. Right. I'm tired of them. Right. It's sickening to look at every day. That's it's right. vexing. That's right. Men asking me, why are you talking so rough, brother? Fuck you. Right, right. Why are you not talking rough? And are you not mad? Our Lord was an austere man. You, you think you think Yahweh Shai was just coming like sweet voices? But Yahweh Shai flipped the tables, man. The scriptures tell that. He was putting, he was, <laughs> bro, he was whooping niggas, bro. man. I, 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 look, bro, if, if you're a sane man in the society, you should be angry. Right. But the scriptures tell right. you to be angry. Surely oppression making a wise man mad. If you got understanding, you're going to be vexed because you know you're being oppressed. <laughs> hey, look, you know. You gonna say something else? Like you, you know there's actually men that wake up every morning and they're happy from the sun up to the sun down, man? Right. You ain't demon, man. Right. And the Lord, the Lord has to destroy you. I mean if you in agreement with this world. The Lord has to destroy you. Because why are you so happy? Right. Okay? <laughs> why? You're a demon, bro. You, look, the Lord has to take you out, man. You're in the wrong spirit. Uh, and a lot of people are going to the spirit world. Yes. A lot of people have been dying. Yes. And the scripture said. Let the multitude perish then which was born in vain. Hey, look, look what's the name? July 1st. Yeah. Right. Hey, a lot of niggas going to the spooks room, man. No wonder. It's going to be a lot of niggas going to the spooks room today. Okay? <laughs> right. Hey, because, look, if you're not, you're here on the planet Earth as an Israelite man to serve the Most High and His Son. And if you're not doing that, you're not, you're not, what, what are you doing, man? All right. right. Yeah, the Lord, yeah, the Lord, the Lord's gonna take a lot of people out. Like they, they gotta, they gotta get away, man. Come on, man. He's gonna raid. Okay. So, the so witches. what we, get, what we, I know we kind of went on a, a righteous rant real quick, but we're gonna get into so what, what is about to happen. Right. I want to bring that preacher out because to let them know we just not talking out of our box. Come. It's the scriptures. But you can finish. Come. Uh, continuing on that day, continuing on the second Ezra five and one. That they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in, in a great number, and the way of truth shall be hidden. Good riddance. Yep. Good riddance, and, and um, I can't wait to the famine of the word. That's right. You know, I can't wait. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait right. until the famine of the word. And the land shall be barren with faith. But what, right. did, what did Yahweh Shai said? You know, I shall come, shall I find faith on earth? That's right. There's going to be only a little bit of people. There's going to be only a little bit of people with faith. Yep. And Lord willing, we are those little bit of people, the remnant, right. the right, elect, man. the you ones know? that actually care and is going to consider. Right. Like you know what, man, I'm wrong. Right. I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, I'm tripping. You know, I'm Lord, going, I'm going off, Lord. It's not. No, he he not even asking us to be perfect. You niggas just don't care. Right. <laughs> so we're not wrong for screaming that and cursing you niggas out. Right. We're not wrong for doing that. Yeah. Why? Because you don't care about God. Right. Yeah, He's said. not all and none of you guys' thoughts. You guys are like heathens, man. Our people are liking the heathens now. What you said about you can't wait until the final of the word, that, that, that's spot on because at the end of the day, that's a very significant moment in time because that also signifies that the elect is going to be seen at that time. And guess what? You guys don't even appreciate the word. A lot, when I say you guys, I mean to the people that hear it and they just, you know, they just don't care. I already know I'm an Israelite. You know, this word is precious, man. There you go. It's precious. Right. Faith cometh by hearing. There you go. These lights can go off any day. Any day, man. CV19 happened. It, that shit happened. It just happened. <laughs> One day I was at work, then another day they told me, hey, you gotta go home. It, come on, man. You people sitting there acting like this can't happen right now. You ask a bunch of grown men who is Klaus Schwab. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know who that is. What, what the fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? Who's Klaus Schwab? You niggas need your ass with a belt. Grown men need their ass beat. But he gonna do Esau. When I see a, a nigga get pulled over by a cop, I praise the Lord because you niggas are wicked, man. That's right. You niggas are evil, man, and wicked. And the Most High is going to send the so-called white man to kick you in your ass. That's right. That's who he sends to do his dirty work. So, Fauci, Bill Gates, keep releasing those mosquitoes. Get them! I guess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's for the wicked. That's not for the righteous. Right. You brothers and sisters that are righteous, that ain't for you, man. Right. Those plagues are for the wicked. These right. wicked-ass Israelites. That's right.
used to say, you know, hey, no evil shall be for you. That's right, man. Psalm 91. That's not for us. That's right. I got something right quick. You know, hey, to back you up, you know, these different plagues and, you know, the th different devices Esau has, you know, the robot dogs, because they out. They out now. They've been out. They also, they also, they also minister to the Most High on the left-hand right. side. Right. That's Shouldn't right. Say that. Right. That, that's why they're here. Bill Gates is here to, for you niggas, man. Right, Bill. Really? For y'all. He, he, he doing his job. You know, when you go into the comments, they be like, why haven't nobody, why is he isn't in prison? Why? Because he, he ain't finished his course yet. Right. <laughs> Right. He's not doing nothing wrong, man. He's, he's doing, doing what he's supposed job. to do. Right. He's evil. Right. You're supposed to be doing your goddamn job, <laughs> man. Right. Instead of shaking your goddamn hips all day. Yeah. Right. And, drink, and drinking the grimace shake and doing right. bullshit on the internet, man. Yeah. Jake, man, you be going to fuck off, man. Jake is. is Jake. They don't know what the hell is going on. Jay be going to fuck off always in fucking folly, man. Hey, Bob, let me back him up real quick. I know you had a precept. Come on. Let me just go right into what he said. This Romans chapter 13, verse 3. It says, for rules are not a terror to good works. So if you're doing good works, this is not for you. You don't got to worry about this. Right. There you go. So the so-called white man is not here for the righteous. Right. Even though we get afflicted, right. okay, the Lord didn't promise us we just going to uh, skate all the way through, you know? No. Right. Shit going to happen to us too. Right. But it's not going to ultimately destroy us. Right. Because what is going to say? The righteous is, is in my hand. Man. There you go. All right, when you read Wisdom of Solomon, the third chapter, the first verse, it says the righteous are in my hand. The souls of the right, the souls of the righteous are in my hand, man. So hey, we good, okay? We good, man. These wicked individuals, they gonna receive their judgment, man. Oh yeah, that's in the uh, apocrypha. Uh, wait, wait, uh, you know what I'm talking about? At least, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Let me the Romans 13 and verse three. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. Do that which is good. Okay? Do that. What is good? What is being good? Open up your Bible. Okay? This is a... Uh, okay, so you, you want to know how can you do good works. Okay? You open your Bible. Okay? You listen to the prophets. You read your Bible. And if you don't understand the Bible, you go to the true prophets of the Lord that are calling on his correct name. Okay, you listen to the videos, you get the correct interpretation of the Bible, and you do good works that are written in the Bible. Right. Good works is not giving your fucking grandma a piece of pie, man. Walking the old lady, Walking the the old lady across the street, man. Mm -hmm. You can do it, but the Most High wants you to do what he says, and what he says is in the Bible. Right. right. Really, the Lord don't give a fuck about that shit you're doing, man. You know, walking the grandma. The Lord don't give a fuck on, about man. that. That lady probably wicked as all hell. Walking that lady down the street. You know, more, hey, not, not say, not say, hey, hey, you can do it. Not yeah, saying not to do, do it. it. But the Lord is not like, okay, the Lord's open, like, okay, this man done please me by doing this. Yeah. No. See, people think that the so-called white man's law is above the most high. Through. Like, okay, I have to put my seatbelt on, I have to pay my insurance. And, right. You know, right. <laughs> what the fuck? What about the most high? Right. You, right. you people are crazy, man. <laughs> like, like the so-called white man constitution and laws and statutes right. is right. over well, the most high. Right. right. That's why when they said that the, the ancient disciples and apostles said what? We rather right. obey the most high rather than men. When they said, right. didn't we straight tell you not to preach in his name? Like, it's like no. what? You're, you're not above the most high. Right. Hey, not at all. But these niggas tripping, bro. Y'all, Jake is out of his goddamn mind. <laughs> I gotta pay my bills. Yeah, I gotta pay my bills. Yeah. I gotta, you know, I gotta get, make my sure my paperwork straight, my license ain't suspended, and, and, and then when it comes to the most high. Uh, bro, did you even think about God today, no, bro? No, no, he didn't. He didn't. He they didn't. Want, they want to do the work of the white man, but they don't want to do the work of the most high. And, and you know what that's called? That's called worshiping the image yeah, of yeah. the beast. That's right. worshiping this society right. over the yourself, right. brother. Right. right. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Romans chapter 13 and verse 4. For he is a minister. Hey, For he is the minister See, that's of why God. Gotta, that's why you got to hear the, the truth of the right <laughs> minute. Right. You know, we, we out here. <laughs> Tell you, man. You, th you th <laughs> his mind stopped and, and crumbled like, what are these guys talking about? Hey, you know, you know he proud. Oh, he just walk, he, he trying to boast yeah. himself like, yeah. no. Yeah. Ain't even, what language is that? I don't know, bro. <laughs> bro, you're wrong. <laughs> oh, off big time. No, you're wrong. Oh. See, 
Go ahead, man. <laughs> and he's an old bottle. He's it's, it's, it's contrary to say with a hot island. He just, you can tell he's stuck in his ways. All right. You know, Since he got it all figured out, the lights about to go out. <laughs> right. Right. I'm gonna keep saying, I'm, hey, I'm gonna conjure the lights going out. God. <laughs> We gonna, gotta, we gonna conjure that up. They gotta go out, man. The they lights are going look, out. Look how they look back. Yeah, the lights go The lights are going out. Man. Right. Night, night. <laughs> right. No more, no more OnlyFans. Right. Right. Night, night, nigga. Okay? No more this uh, online wickedness going on. Uh, texting another man's wife, DMing her. Right. And she and her wicked ass DMing back. No more fucking uh, uh, looking back shots. Oh, yeah, my ass looks good. Right. No more that no, the lights are going out. Right. No more close friends. You got a boyfriend, but you have, you take them off your close friends so other niggas can see you half naked. That's right. And you women that uh, that 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 left your man, your husbands, right. and took his children, and you you don't and, and you don't need your husband. You I don't need no man. I, I got I, I make all this money by myself. You're alone. Okay, you got to figure it out, baby girl. <laughs> right. Figure it out. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, Romans 13 and 4. For he is the minister of the Most High. So Bill Gates works for the Most High on the left hand side. Mm -hmm. Anthony Fauci works for the Most High on the left hand side. The Rothschilds work for the Most High on the left hand side. Okay? Who was the one that carried us and put us on them slave ships? The so called Edom, a white man, which are the Edomites. Right. The Most High summoned them to go and get us right. and put us on ships. Why? For being disobedient. So when you are bad, when you're disobedient, when you are being evil, why do you think all you, them animals are in the, in the, in the prison? Because they are being evil. So the Most High puts the white man on you. And time before them, other nations too. There you go. So he, he'll pick one. And in this uh, captivity, it's the so-called white man. Right. When the cop pull it, whoop, whoop, and he hop out with them shades on with that buzz cut. Sit tight, buddy. Right. You, better, sit tight. you better know how to agree with your adversary speedily or else it's going to cost you. You sit tight, buddy. <laughs> Everything's spiritual. You know, when you get pulled over by a cop, the most I pulled you over. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Oh, my goodness. For Romans 13 and 4. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he bears not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of God. Oh, hey, hey, God damn it. The mother, the motherfucker Bill Gates turned a mosquito into a sword. Yes. God. Well, hey, these, these, these Edomites, hey, they got a hell of a sword, boy. Right. Some shit you can barely see. Right. Well, uh, Rosie talking about that with that heart attack gun. Yeah. Like, that's scary, man. But that's what I'm saying. Like, it's going to get so bad to a point where. What, bro, what are we gonna do against a mosquito? We can't even see it. Exactly. If I may, if I may see you it, got it bro. it's all for you people. There you go. It's not That's for y'all. He's not doing it right. for his people. Mainly, he's doing it for you people. That, exactly. Mainly you people. These plagues are for the wicked. Yep. If I give that to the very last point. Oh, God, God. A revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. There you go. So if you being wicked, that mosquito is coming to bite you. <laughs> right. Okay? It's coming to get you. Yeah. Awesome. Hey. Isaiah 10 and 5. O Assyrian, the rod of my anger, and the staff in their hand is mine in the, in the nation. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, well, you got it. Verse 6. Huh? I send them against an hypocritical. Nation, which is you Jay. fucking people right Those here. People man. are a bunch of hypocrites, man. Right. Show you care. So you let me tell you something. You niggas care more about rich Edomites in a submarine dying than children being missing. You care about people on a submarine more than your own fellow neighbor that got killed by a by a white man. So I mean, we can't take you niggas seriously, man. Like damn. They care more about the people in the submarine, which is about five or six, than all those all those children that went missing in Ohio. Thirty. Thirty missing in two weeks. Where are these children? Right. Where's the outcry? Where the men at? It should be about a hundred thousand people looking for those children in Cleveland. Right. Where's the outcry? Why nobody why, why nobody nobody saying them? Instead of you guys making these submarine jokes. They said uh, we're coming for your children. They literally said that. Like, yeah. Why why, why, why nobody crying out? 
homosexuality, transgenderism, right. coming for the children, dancing in front of the children. Nobody cares about it. Everybody only care about money. Right. That's their God. And comfortability, man. Money, money, oh, money, money, man. I don't care. As long as I can get to the bank. Only people care about is money. Money's not going to save you, man. People are supposed to care about, people are supposed, men are supposed to have integrity, right. morals. Yeah. And when that line is crossed, men are supposed to do something about it. Righteous men. But everybody only cares about money. But when the lights go off, you're not going to have no fucking money. That's right. Now what? What are you going to live your life off now? Because you, nobody, everybody's going to be on an even playing field. Okay? Right, nobody's going to have nobody. <laughs> You're going to have rich people dying. Right. Oh yeah, we'll just wait till the lights come back on. I right, then I'll compare you. No, it ain't no, 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 no. Righteousness delivered from death. That's right. right. Righteousness. That's right, man. Money cannot deliver you, man. That's right. And people took that thing for money. They wanted to continue to live what they, what they think was a good life. Go ahead, Isaiah 10 and 6, I sent him against a hypocritical nation, against the people of my wrath. Will I give him a charge to take the spoil and to take the prey and to tr tr uh, tread them down like the mire of the street? There you go. So hey, the Lord gave them the, that's the charge. Right. So the Most High got, gave them authority to do this to his people. Right. right. Because y'all wicked, man. Show, show you that the Most High uses other nations to rule that's over right. when we go off. Yeah, these plagues that we told y'all, these plagues are gonna keep coming. We told y'all, cause all you people care about is playing, playing around, partying. Okay, so the mosquitoes are here. And if you're not in Florida or Texas, guess what? It's gonna be something else. Yeah. What are people gonna learn? You know, you know how fucked up it feels. To have other nations ruling over you to know that you are you the strongest people on the planet. Bro, to know that you're the salt of the earth, but other weak ass nations ruling over you, man. That's supposed to hurt, man. Come on, man. But Jake okay with your, it. Your own woman, bro. Jake okay with that shit, man. Jake know. Jake knows in their mind. I'm stronger than all these people. I can dominate them in anything. Right. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm, my body is built different. Yeah. All right. My women are beautiful. All right. We got the beautiful skin. You said syndicate should click. I'm a chosen man. Like right. God is dealing with me. Like these nations out here go outside and get skin cancer. Right. Let me show you that. Even might trip on the floor if they, they leg break. Yeah. You know? shot if I may. To show you that is the Lord who set this up. Right? It's the Lord who set this up. He he blessed Esau with the sword, right? But that's just say for an example. Let, let make all the weapons in the world just disappear right now. Jake will take over the whole world. Physically. You understand know what I'm saying? But it's just not meant to happen that way. But we the stronger people. But yep. that's the way the Lord set it up, and that's the way it has to be dealt with because that's the way the Lord. Hey. He set up one nation over another. Hey. But if the weapons just will just go away, take will take over the world. The scriptures say, when a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with thee. That's right. Okay? So, which goes to show you that if you're doing right by the Heavenly Father, you're going to be hid from the scores of the time. You're going to be right. hid from these plagues. You're going to be, the Lord is going to take care of you. Second Ezra chapter 16, starting verse 19, it says, Behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are set as scourges for amendment. Mm -hmm. but, but for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness, nor be always mind, mindful of the scourges. You know, you know, you, you know, you, you you see Bill Gates and you see these guys, and, and you know you you like that. You know, you warn the people, you tell them that these, these people are devils. You know what I'm saying? They evil, and, and, and you warn Jake, and, and then it's just like they just don't give a fuck. And so hey, you're gonna continue to be crushed, man, because Jake he don't get it. Imagine you just keep beating and beating and beating your child. You, you just beating. Him. And they just look up at you and say, well, what, what do wrong? Like, you don't get it? Are you, like, you really got to drag the nigga to the, you know, to, to, to the front of the city and stone him, man. You know, Jake is fucking bra spiritually brain dead. At some point, you're going to get tired of beating him. You know? Like, you don't know what you did wrong. You don't know that your God chose the people. You don't, know, you, don't, you don't know that you're not supposed to have sex with another man's wife. Right. That's big in black culture. Right. Fuck a nigga bitch that, in that's black a, culture. That's, that, that's big. Yeah. Yeah. That's big. Jake, adultery is like nothing to Jake. 
Adultery is uh, uh is, is glorified. Yeah. It's, it's like a delicacy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I thought it, you know, which is nasty. Right. When you look at it. That shit's disgusting. Go ahead, Bob. So I said one. Start at two. It says here, O heavens, give ear, O earth. The Lord Yahweh has spoken. I've nursed and brought up children. And when you look at that word children, that's a masculine word. Yeah. That's Bun Yasha'Allah, sons of the Most High, the sons of Israel. Right. The sons. The sons. That's what the law is dealing with. Okay? Somebody gotta get it to these people. Fucking dick to go. The Bible is a masculine book. If you, if, you follow, if you follow the order, you would know. If you're dealing with the sons, automatically the woman, okay, she's supposed to adhere to her husband. Exactly. So that's why the law says you're dealing with the sons. Right. Because by right, she's supposed to just fall in line. Yep, you deal exactly. with the man, and it just trickles right down. Exactly. Women, children. Yep. These people are very prideful, man. Right. Fuck these people, man. These people are very proud. Fuck these people. Go ahead, bro. He said, like, he's seen the, scoop, the shit coming. He's just like, man. See, nobody cares until shit, shit happens, you know? These niggas are stuck inside a video game. Bro. Yeah. That, that's stuck inside yeah, a video game. The, the metaverse. Right. <laughs> like, they think that, they're like, like, I can't wait till the lights go. Like, like, I want to ask a quick question. Let's say, like, do people just think this is the end all be all? Like, yeah. what happens after this? Are we just going to, people just live here, just die, and that's it? Yeah. Like, what's going on? Because I know look, you. Look, 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 look at that, look at that. Like, <laughs> is that a nigga job or a woman uh, job? Who knows? I'm telling you. Oh, but, you know, all, to them, is to them is all about them. Yeah. Nothing for us. It's all about them. Is a nigga driving? I don't know. I, I can't see. It's a nigga in the car. We got masculine hands. Yeah, it's right. A man. It's a man. Yeah. A, a, a feminist. A man feminist. <laughs> <laughs> you people man. are gonna die, man. Uh, is that a? People don't know what the f what is that? That's a woman? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, but that's America though. You don't know what that is. Right. But where the fuck is that? What, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> but that's a new Hard to determine. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to say who the fuck this guy is, man. Hey, that's oh. you, that's, this is the reason why you're supposed to have a beard. If you're a man, you should have a beard, man. But I don't yeah. like I don't like you Babylonians, man. <laughs> I don't like you. Just, just y'all walking up and down this shit just like, man. <laughs> Y'all disgusting! Oh, man. <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, shit, man. There go Fauci Cousin, oh, man. Oh, man. That's Fauci Cousin, God, man. God damn, man. Fauci <laughs> blowing them rats. Fauci <laughs> <laughs> right. the juice right. jar niggas up and disappear. Whoosh! Right, right. and, you, and you know you're not feeling bad like I just killed millions of people? Nah, he's going through his money yeah. and he's enjoying himself. Yeah, I killed a lot of people, but it was for a good cause. Yeah, you feel like buying up land right now? Yeah, millions of dollars. Where he get all this money from? <laughs> right? When you look up his salary, he don't make that much money. Right. Where he got all this money from, man? But, you know, you, see, nobody questions anything but us. Right. right. You know, you got these conspiracy theories, but, you know, you, you're not really getting to the root of the problem. Yep. Yep. Isaiah 1 and 2, and they have rebelled against me. The ox know of his honor. And the ass is master's crib. But Israel does not know, my people do not consider. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord Yahweh, and they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger. Yep. They are gone away backwards. Why would you be stricken anymore? You will revolt, you will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. Right, you know, people are, are, are sick, man. Okay, continue. They, they get judged and judged and judged, but why? They feel like they get worse and worse and worse, man. Okay, like they don't learn from their punishments. Okay, you're supposed to get beat, okay, and then change how you act. There you go. They get beat and then get worse, man. Okay, like a fucking Edomite, man. Oh, that ain't hurt. That ain't hurt. So just because it ain't hurt, you know, you just gonna be a nigga. Right? Why you don't sit down like, damn, bro, I'm like tripping, bro. Like, damn, I keep getting whipped. Whip, whip. Probably I'm doing something wrong. You know, Jacob be catching hell in the world. Damn, man, I'm fucked up. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm going through it. I'm a girl. Like, nothing in your life is going right right now. You you won't stop for one second and just say, God, you know, please help me. They, they, they right. rather say, God, why? Nigga, ask, 
You look at yourself like, damn, what am I doing wrong? Niggas be thinking they don't be doing nothing wrong. And the Lord says, except, except, except you repent, you shall likewise perish. So you might be getting speak to constantly and you're not adhering to the word. At some point, you're going to be destroyed, man. Yep. At some point, I got a precept. Point, be destroyed. Real quick. Um, Proverbs 29 and verse 1. Oh, and the Lord, he gave us a charge to come out here and speak to our people. Okay? <laughs> so anybody got a problem with that saying that we're going about this situation wrong, we shouldn't be yelling and screaming at people, we shut the fuck up. Bro. Right. Okay? Because if we don't do who the fuck else going to do? Right. right. Who else going to tell the people they're wrong? Or, or the, you gonna do it? No. Sitting on your fucking couch, nigga? <laughs> right, right. Shut the fuck up. That's, That's right. right. And it's gonna say cry loud, spare not. Don't right. spare no why you feel it. They talk about some, oh, you cursing with the Bible. Man, fuck you. Right. Okay? Right. Because we're telling our people the right thing to do. That's right. Which is to turn back to the Lord right. and right. repent. Right. You can't do it sitting on your fucking couch, nigga. Right, right. So be quiet. He in a bag of Lay's and drinking crushed a grape soda, man. Fucking niggas, man. Always got something to say. Be right. quiet, man. For your roof cave in. Right. <laughs> that's, that's right. Our black hole opening your fucking uh, bedroom, man. Yeah. You know, people disappearing, man. Right. It's life. That's people right. are, uh, uh, right, huh? people are just disappearing, man. That's right. Yeah. Angels I, might, I, I, you know, yeah. angels might be killing people. Who knows? Yeah. That, that's the law of judgment going forward. Yeah. Get that, get that. All right. Zephaniah 3 and 5. Black vans pulling up. Yeah. Hey, man. Ain't nobody exempt from this. We living in an evil time, man. Human trafficking. All right. Keep fucking playing. Right. You remember that when that was like a year ago, that, that bitch that literally got inside her house by uh, yeah. the roof of her teeth? Right, yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. She's barely made it in. Barely made it. Did she, she repent? She, you think she believed? She slid it in. <laughs> She slithered in. <laughs> that nigga's gonna take her. Well, he man. was gonna take her. Yeah. Real, real. Every, everybody got everybody got a, something to say. Everybody got a problem. Right. But is, is, is anybody doing trying to fix the problem? Right. All, all this shit going and nothing to all this shit going on, but they get mad at us because we said a couple F bombs here and there. Children are missing. Right. right. The so-called white man is, is pushing all type of abominations. Right. right. You don't got a problem with that? Right. Oh, uh, Can you not judge? They talking about the chicken, man. Right, the fake chicken. Lab chicken. So, so we're the cancer of the earth. <laughs> Fuck you, niggas, man. Right. They got, they got gay, they got gay penguins and shit. They got turtles with HIV and yeah, but shit, we're, man. We're, we're wrong, though. We're wrong. We're, we're, we're hateful. But all the wickedness being done in the earth, this right? Nobody has nothing to say about it. He's destroying the earth. <laughs> well, I tell you, that's why you people are gonna die, right? The, the lights are going on. <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> they are. You're going to see apparitions, man. The right. lights are going out. Then you're going to have to fix your own fucking problems since you don't believe in God. Hey. Yeah. Right. Don't call on God then. He's not going to ask you, even if you mm -hmm. do call him. The Bible say that. People, our people, uh, that, that Isaiah 1 is true. That fit, you niggas. Right. That's, that's y'all. That is y'all. That is the Israelites. <laughs> we can read the Bible and then look in real life and say, yeah, uh, that's y'all, man. Yeah, that's y'all. That's yeah. y'all. Yeah. Uh, Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 29 and uh, verse 1. It says, he that being often reproved, meaning corrected, hardening his neck. So you're being, you're being corrected, but still you find it within yourself to harden your neck. It says, shall suddenly be destroyed and that without remedy so you're gonna you're gonna be destroyed man because yep. you're being told over and over and over and over yet you ain't finding it in your heart to seek the lord okay you you ain't, you ain't turning from your evil way but you're being told you're being reproved constantly but you 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 harming your neck man that's right man. you're gonna be destroyed man and what we say ain't up for debate okay it ain't up for debate we ain't up in the debate we don't, we, ain't, we don't have to debate you niggas. If you don't listen to us, you're going to die. Okay? We got the authority. The Lord gave us the authority to preach, man. Because you niggas can't do it. That's not your life. You got to listen to us or you die, man. If you don't listen to hear what we got to say, night, night. You got to go back to your spirit world, man. Okay? When the Lord came on the scene, he didn't come to uh, uh, be taught by other people, man. You, either, you had to listen to him, man. And he gave his men that same power. 
the apostles and the disciples, they didn't come to teach you. They came to teach. Okay? That's right. When you come up here, when you listen to us, don't take, te don't be quiet. Just listen, man. That's right. We're not up here to be your friend. You listen to what God has to say and be quiet. Keep your feet when you come to that's the spirit. Okay? That's right. We're not up here for gimmicks and microphone and the fucking play around, all that. Listen to the message. And that's it. Right. Go home and think about it and apply it to your life. We're not up here, uh, uh, you know, to, to, to play games with people. It's already uh, annoying to be here in, in America, looking yep. at all this wickedness every day. Right. Okay, and if you don't like what we say, change the channel. Right. Okay, but we still have to do it. We have to warn our people of the things to come. If you don't like it, it's not for you. Okay? Yeah. We might say it in more of a rough way, okay? But so be it, man. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh, John the Baptist said to bring forth fruit, meek for repentance, man. What do you went out in the wilderness for to see? That's what our Lord Yahweh Shai said. What do you think you went out in the wilderness for? You think you went out to hear a man speaking in a low tone or a soft voice? No, nah, man. It didn't happen like that, man. They there, there wasn't, go it, on, it wasn't, right, there wasn't no microphones in those days. Go on, man. There wasn't no bullhorns in those days. Microphone. A, a man had to use his voice and, and project his voice as a man, man. Uh, you people are weak, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, don't know if people, I don't know if people just think like back in the ancient world, men was just soft. Right. Because men in the ancient world, then, they was not soft men, man. I know. Okay? They didn't have all the technology which we got now. They was not soft men, man. All right? They're not like you weak ass niggas now, man. Drinking milkshakes and shit, man. All right? Yeah. Having 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 beach days with your fucking demonic son or daughter, man. All right, laid laid up with the black woman, man. Men men are driven by purpose, right? Okay, and, and, and if you're an Israelite man, your purpose is to serve the Most High, keep His commandments, right? Yep. That's right. Man. And if you ain't doing that, the Most High gonna throw that tool away, <laughs> right? And get another one, yeah. right? Because He don't need you. And this is Ezekiel chapter two, verse five. And then whether they will hear or whether they will or whether they will prepare. Let's get it uh second uh, fifteen sixteen. It says, uh, and they whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, but they are a rebellious house, yet shall know that there have been a there have been a prophet among them. So how are we supposed to talk to rebellious people? Huh? How are we supposed to talk to people like that? Are we supposed to say, hey look guys, you know. God has really been waiting for you guys to come back to him. But I don't know, man. When you guys admit, no. Hey, hey guys, 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 gathering, gathering, you know, three, four. No, no. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. This is the end of the world. Get your shit together. Right. Repent, or you're gonna die. The scripture says through the terror of the Lord we persuade men. The scripture says what we compel men. Compel means to threaten. Hey, the Lord's gonna fucking kill you. Alright? And we back it up with the scriptures. Yeah. And that should like, oh shit, damn, he is right. It's kind of like with, with Moses' situation, right? Right. The, the people they, they got tired of hearing, oh Moses, you know, we don't want, we want to hit, we want to, you know, we want to deal with the Most High, Moses. We don't want to, we don't want to hear what y'all got to say. Well, Moses said, okay, all right. He went up there and said, Lord, you know, they said, well, fuck you. All right, sanctify yourself. Right. That, you want to talk to me? Okay. That thunder came. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, oh, okay, right, okay. Right, right. Oh, no. We about to die, man. All right, all right. See, you, that's Jake, though. Jake, what is Jake your problem? Jake is an asshole. Right. When you, you don't even got to get to the whole Bible. You're like, these people are a bunch of assholes. Right. right. Yeah, you're right. You you save them. You try and feed them and clothe them. You still complain. Like the lady walking here, I get, she asked for a three dollars. I gave her a dollar. Oh no, I said three. Oh, right, not, yeah. it's not, was not that bitch in the wilderness? Right. <laughs> right. Right. God. But see, that's, Jake is a bunch of assholes. Yeah. And you know what we're saying is true, but you don't like to deliver. But it doesn't matter because it's still right. the truth. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Like, y'all can't touch us yep. because it's still the truth. Yep. <laughs> it doesn't matter how we say it. Something in the back, <laughs> something in the back of their head, even though they want to admit it, something in the back of their head like, they, they know it's the truth. They know it's the truth, but they just like, oh, I just, I just don't like the way you're saying it, but it's still the truth. Right. So the, the Most High is going to honor that because it's still told the truth. Right. Because <laughs> it is my life. He's right. I, because he's right. Like, I am committing adultery. <laughs> I, I am eating pork. Yeah. You know, like, 
I, I am going off, you know. He's right, but it's like, you know, I don't, speak to me smooth, right? right. So, so you rather me talk to you nicely and, and tell you a lie, right? See what I'm saying? Then you die. Then you die. The blood on my hands, and then I get and I die too. Nah, nah. you niggas ain't gonna get me trapped up in right. that place. Right. Shit. It might be rude speech, but there's no deceit in it. Ain't no deceit. There's right. no guile in it. And if there's no deceit, no guy, or no lie in it, you are getting the truth. Right. So you want to make us your enemy because we tell you the truth? Hey, hey, look, <laughs> look, look at, uh, uh, look at Samuel with Eli. Eli was like, hey, you better not hold nothing back. Better tell me the truth. Right. Okay. And then, hey, you also had he was, uh, Eli and Samuel were two Israelites. Okay. And you also had Israelites when the prophets came to them. They got vexed. They threw the prophets. In, they, threw, they threw a prophet in prison. You had this one king, oh, I don't like the prophet, I don't like this prophet because he only tells me evil. All right? But he's telling you the truth. Right. Nigga, see, you, you can read the Bible and then look out in the world and see that this is that group of people in the yeah. Bible. Yeah. That's y'all. The truth is beneficial to you. All you got to do is receive it and then amend your ways. Because it's something that can save you. If somebody come and tell you the truth, all you got to do is receive it and amend your ways. Whatever it is, conform to it. Change so you can walk in the path of righteousness. And the Lord gonna pour his spirit on you. There you go. But you know what the best part about it is? The Lord got his, like, multiple men to do it. If you don't like the way I said it, you got other righteous men that are said in a different way. Right. right. It's still, the message is still coming out. The message hey, is still the same. The Lord said, I've made your face hard against their face. My, like what hey, the brother's saying? My face is hard against you, right. You can help I certain, don't certain with Jake like certain that. brothers. Yeah, because Jake, you wicked, man. Right. Right. You got certain Jake out there. You got to deal with them on that level. You can't come to them on some 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 soft shit, man. Right. Our people are evil. They're evil. Yes. They don't care about the Most High. Go ahead, bro. Who said we hairs? Uh, hold on. Oh, come. Oh, uh, all right. Let's get Jeremiah 30. Uh, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30. We we'll start at verse 4. It says, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. <laughs> right. Right. But thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling and of, so like here, of fear and not of peace. So why, why would we up here and tell you guys lies, man? So you want us to sit here and tell you that everything's going to be all good? Everything ain't going to be fucking all good, man. Right. That's not what the Bible says. Now, after we get through it, it's going to be all good. Right. But you want to hear what uh, 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 the people in the church got to say with Fendi suits on. Right. Because you want money. Custom suits and shit. Custom man. suits and Rolls Royces and shit. Right. <laughs> Diamonds and shit. And you struggling, man. I'm pastor. My pastor got it. I'm going to make sure my pastor good. But he ain't, he ain't feeding you bullshit. Right. right. He ain't not even being the right leader. But we're wrong. We're, 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 oh, you got, uh, we're, we're the scum of the earth. So. According to the Bible, who's in the right? When we read the Bible, uh, if there's a, 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 the prophecy of all, yep. and there's a prophecy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The prophecy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai will hate. Yep. So I'm going to go with what the Bible says. So if you niggas don't like me, good. Keep it up. Right. Hey, our Lord was hated. You ain't supposed to like me. Remember, brothers, just for brothers, listen, these niggas are supposed to hate you because they're evil. Right. Evil people ain't supposed to like you. Right. The Lord said that, man. That We're God. adverse to these people, man. Right. These people believe homosexuality is right. Mm. Yeah. They're supposed to hate you. Right. You ever just, motherfucker just looking at you crazy with the, I don't like this thing. Good. Right. Because if they did, there's a fucking problem. Right. Hey, hey, they don't like you, give praises. They ain't supposed to like you. Right. right. Your coworkers supposed to hate you. Right. Because they're evil. Right. 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 So get, get used to it. Get used to being hated. Right. And you got to hate them too, man. Right. You got to hate them too. They're doing wickedness. Right. We have the mindset of our Lord. The Lord said the world cannot hate you, but me in hate it because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. The Lord said this place is evil, man. At the end of the day, why they consider us? Why they consider themselves hating us? Because we speak in his words. That's right. And there's no light in them. So of course they're going to hate you. You got people that don't even know you hate you. Why? It's a spiritual thing. These people, they got demons on them. Okay? So, hey, get used to it, man. Who was reading? Uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 6. It says, Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands 
on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. Yeah, those are guys that got bullied into getting the bees. <laughs> okay? <All right. laughs> they got his hands on his knees like he about to do the doodle brown. All right. <laughs> That was that, that, uh, uh, Mr. Noodle, Mr. Noodle. Yeah, Noodle Way. Oh, God. No, no, no. Don't no, 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 no. no. Scripture speaks about mankind's heart failing them for the things that are coming on the earth. So their mind literally would have failed them. They yeah. go, oh, I'm going to lose my job. Oh, no. oh. Yeah. But in, in the times to come, they, their heart literally going to fail them. They're going to be dropping that. They're going to trip over about a job. Right. Oh, come on, man. You could have went to go get another All one. These... Right. Say that again, bro. You could have went to go get another one. Right. Just get another fucking job. Just as simple as that. What, what's wrong with you niggas? And, and, hey. and another thing, too, around that time, weren't they giving you stimulus checks? Right. So Bro, the Lord was constantly providing. It's the exact same thing. Let me use my bed as a, as a quick testimony. When I, my last job where I was before I was now, all right, we used to have to wear a face mask, okay? And they say, you can't have a beard and wear that. So that, they take time, fade me off the job. I see they was getting ready to get rid of me. So what I do? I look for another job. You think I was going to let that stop my purpose and I know I need to roll my beard? No. no. Look for another job. That's how, that's how you niggas are simple as hell, man. Simple. And guess what? See, th this next one, and then see this next one a job is going to be the least of your workers <laughs> okay we're talking about not find, finding clean water to drink okay mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to eat shit like that you y'all ain't ready for that that's why the scriptures say and wisdom and knowledge will be the stability in thy time the fear of the lord is the strength of it uh, and, and guess and guess, guess roughly paraphrasing guess what right everybody's only concerned about uh relationships who who they know and stuff like that but the person that you're supposed to know, you don't care. The most high. You don't care about them. So guess what? When it's time to eat, when it's time to drink, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let me bring that scripture over real quick. When it's time to eat, when it's time to drink, don't worry about it. Uh, John, the book of Isaiah chapter 33 and verse uh, 6. That, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Okay, and the reason why I brought that scripture, scripture out because the brother, the brother just mentioned about water. Okay, when we come into the time where you got to find water to drink and all of these different stuff and food to eat, you, you, you're going to have to grow with wisdom at that time, man. And if you don't have it, <laughs> it's going to fail you, man. It's going to fail you. And that's going to that's going to come by the way of y'all by sitting down. Shout out to the spirit. Boy, you read Jeremiah 30. Okay, I got one more verse. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7. Life comes at you fast. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Be prepared. Be prepared. When I say be prepared, I mean get your relationship with the Heavenly Father and His Son. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Because as long as you good with them, you're going to be all right. Right. But if you ain't, you got a whole hell of a lot to worry about. Je Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 7, it says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, that he is talking about the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay, and these times are coming. They're coming. More plagues are coming. More evil is, is, is going to grow on the planet Earth. More rebellion against the Heavenly Father is going to come. It's going to get dark. It got to get, it got to get worse before, before the light comes. And the light is how we shine. Before you have a shot, get back. This world gonna be crap. This world gonna be jacked up, man. Because yep. people gonna be out there cold. The scriptures say, you know, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. We know that the cold goes into cycle. So these people are they're gonna be losing it they out already, there. They already and it's gonna get worse. Right. These people are all V'd up. Don't know what the hell is inside of them. Yeah, so that's that's where it's headed, man. It's headed down that road through the through the straight, the straight gate, man. You right. got to go through the narrow to come into the broad. That's right. That, and that's the condition of the battle that we have to fight. Yep. You see? That's right. And that's what we, we get in our house in order. Us. Right. You know? Spiritually prepping. You have to choose whom you will serve. We spiritually prepping, man. Right. Getting, getting, getting our uh, uh, self together. Working on what we got to work on. Right. That, 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 that carnal, that carnal prepping, that carnal prepping is not going to deliver you, man. Because at the end of the day, the scripture says you said to be even as a pilgrim. You got to be able to move around and go where the spirit leads you, man. Okay, people who, who carnally prepping, they, that shit going to be, that's going to get taken away by somebody else, man. 
Sure. Yeah. The second is 15, it started at 1. It says, Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord. That's right. And we're telling you what, more plagues. We just prophesied to you. More plagues are coming. Okay, the earth is going to get more jacked up. Okay, dark, darkness is coming. Cyber attacks is coming. More death is coming. And the only way to, to escape that is through the Heavenly Father and the Son. All right. Because he's the director of the movie. All right. It's his show. He created all things. All right. All spirits belong to him. All right, and to come into the the, 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 the the formation of the kingdom being set up on the earth, you're gonna have to go through what was prophesied, man. You're gonna have to go through what was spoken. You see? So it would behoove you to seek the Lord in these times, man. Okay, it would behoove you to seek Yahweh by Shimei Shai in these times. Because that's the way that you're gonna be delivered, man. If you have that number of the elect, the scriptures say, uh, 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 thou hast known from a child that the Holy Scriptures are able to make you wise unto salvation. You gotta get into these scriptures, man. That's right. Yeah. Oh, uh, go ahead. I wrong. So again, it's 15 and 2. It's like, call them to be read in paper, that they are faithful and true. Right. You know, hey, the prophecies, man. Okay, they, they are coming to pass. They're coming to pass right in before your eyes, man. Right. This is this is not something that you can ignore, man. Okay, you people can't play dumb to what's going on in in the world right now. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them that trouble thee that speak against thee. Right, man. We cannot allow them to be there. They're unfaithful. Them, them that don't believe to all come up against us, man. Say, it's fuck them, man. Okay, so when that time comes, hey, hey, we're going to be shining like gold, man. That's right. Okay. Okay, they, will, they will come up. They will come to us, man. It says, all the unfaithful shall die in unfaithfulness. Right, man. Hey, all you two third niggas that don't want to believe in this truth that scoff, that leave uh, 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 nigga remarks under the comment section. Hey, death to you, man. Said, Behold, said the Lord, I'll bring plagues upon the world. The sword. Said, uh, 17 to 5, it says, Behold, said the Lord, I'll bring plagues upon the world. Sword, famine, death, and destruction. Read that again. The what? It said the sword. The sword. Famine. Famine. Death. Death. And destruction. So the Lord bringing those things, man. You gotta remember the Lord. Once He said He gonna do it, He gonna do it. Okay. The Lord ain't tiptoeing around, y'all. He ain't scared of y'all. The Lord ain't scared of nobody. If you don't do what he say, those things are going to come upon you and your family. The Lord ain't playing no games, man. The Lord sat back for all these years, all these years and watched all this wickedness build up. You think the Lord finna play with y'all, man? Nope. See, the Lord ain't, ain't, ain't really. See, you people don't feel. Y'all don't. Y'all don't fear because y'all ain't seen the Lord in action yet. Right. In this lifetime, I'm pretty sure a lot of you niggas drowned in the flood. That are living on this earth. These are flood people. Go ahead, bro. Second fifteen and six. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth. So the, the things that we are speaking about, are we tripping? Have not wickedness uh, exceeded the planet Earth? They're trying to figure out how a man can get pregnant, but we're wrong. We're speaking out against wickedness. There are scientists trying to figure out how to make a man pregnant. Nobody's calling them out. But the men of the Lord. You got people that when they're being asked to find a woman, they, they, they don't know how to define a woman. <laughs> look, how many, look, how many, look how many genders they got now. Oh. See, they want to keep you people confused, man. They want to keep you confused. Why would there be more than two genders? Both sides made, when he made, now he made man and he made woman. But now you got all these genders. What's up with that? Right, that is that 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 shit. That's, that's a mental illness, man. To believe that something, to believe that you're something you're not, that's that's a mental illness. Don't worry about it. The Most High gave them up the vile affection. Guess right. what? You're gonna you, you're gonna eat missiles for that. Sure. You're not, that's not gonna go unpunished. Right. So go ahead, and enjoy it. Fulfill, go ahead, live it up. 
That's going to be required of me. It says, therefore, it says, therefore, say the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. See, the Lord said he sat back. He said he didn't hold his tongue no more. Because he sat back and watched you people just drown in wickedness and y'all just doing whatever the hell y'all want to do. There always came a cutoff point. Read Genesis, the sixth chapter. Where the Lord said, man, enough is enough. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of hearing this. It's, it's too much. It says, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. We're complaining right now. Right. <laughs> you think we ain't complaining? Right. At, we're preaching it, but at the same time, we're complaining about the wickedness going on in the earth. Like, like, we're not like, playing. Like, we, like, we generally care about. The earth and yeah. its well-being, and, and we hate wickedness. Yeah, I don't want to see a man kiss another man. No, I don't want to no. see that shit. No. I don't want my children to live in a world like that. We come in the stead of our forefather Lot, that, that the righteous man and the just man. The wickedness when we when he was seen it, it, it vexed his soul, man. These people are demons. Man. That's why the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, man. These people don't they, don't they don't care. Like they think that homosexuality is just harmless. Do you understand that that ideology spreads? And right. they told you they're coming for your kids. The disease spreads also. Like, you got children, man. That's a cancer. You got to get rid of that. Right. That mindset. That's not, uh, that's not the, the, the life the Lord intended. For people to just come on earth. Oh, it's more than two genders. A woman can be a man. A man can be a woman. What the fuck is that, man? Hey, the, the, the Bible says the physician, the physician cut it off a long disease. Our physician is Yahweh Shai, man. He's coming to put a stop to this, man. See, but that's the thing. Nobody cares about the Bible anymore. That's like a lost thing now. Oh, yeah, oh, Bible. And what they're going to find out that the Bible is the, is, is the living book. Because the scriptures tell you that none shall fail. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. Okay? God's talking about the prophecies. None of them shall fail, man. None shall, none shall want or make, meaning the other book could be compared to the Holy Scriptures. It's the living book. This book gave you prophecies in the past that already came to pass, and prophecies that are in the book that to come to pass that's in the future. So the book is alive and well. So if you don't want to believe, that's on you, man. Romans 3 and 3, what if some did not believe? Shall your unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid, make the Most High be true, but every man a liar, man. You're going to see, you're going to see that the Lord is alive and well and living and true, man. You're going to find out, and you might have to find out the hard way. Yep. The same was no after death by pain. Right. Uh, 2 Corinthians 9 and 9, it says, And therefore, say the Lord, I will surely avenge them, and receive unto me all the... See, the Lord said he's going to avenge us. He's going to avenge us. So the Lord going to kill all of the, the weird people. He's going to get y'all. So, you know, we ain't worried about it. We're still aggravated. But the Lord said he's going to avenge us. And he's going to avenge us when, he's, when the lights go out. <laughs> when the plagues start to come. That's why we, we're going to praise the Lord, man. Because he, he's avenging us. All right. So when you read about these people dropping dead and disappearing. and, and uh, He's the one who's sending those these plagues. People dropping. <laughs> he's avenging us, brother. Right. Because these people, they, they, they don't care about the most high and the son. They're evil and they're wicked. Uh, I what do you say? That. Well, how can you say that? Well... Look at the world. Look at the state of the world. Look at the state of the, 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 the black neighborhood. Look at the state of the black family. Is righteousness being pushed, pushed as a whole in it? Because you got people that say, oh, yo, well, everybody, you're wicked. If, you, if you're not adhered to the Bible, you're wicked. Man. Right. Okay? Let's not cut corners. Yeah, because what's outside of the scriptures is wicked. If it's, if it's not, it's not in, within the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High, if it's outside of that, that's why, if you're outside of the temple, you profane. If you're outside of the temple, you profane. So, it's no way you could be righteous if you're outside of the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. You're wicked, of course. You, yeah, yeah, Okay? <laughs> right, no gray areas. There's no man. gray areas. <laughs> right. If you, know, if you think we're a bunch of hateful people, yes, I hate wickedness. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'm, if, if, I'm, if I'm hateful for that, oh well, man. And the law is in the scriptures. Okay, love the love the good and hate the evil. If I'm hateful for that, oh well, I don't care. 
We supposed to hate, man, because it's a balance. I don't care. Love and hate. Hate only means the uh, 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 strong, dislike. strong dislike. That's yeah. it. We hate. We that hate. Doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't mean that we're gonna harm you or harm someone. No. It just means a strong dislike, man. If you teach him, I, if you teach, if I have a son, and you want to teach him, okay, how to be with another man, I ain't with that shit, man. I don't gotta. I don't got No, I don't gotta be happy for you to do that. The hell with that. Yeah, we're, we're hateful because we don't want. We want things to be in this correct order. <laughs> Well, you, you got you got jakes that they, they say, oh well, I don't have a problem with it. Well, you agree with it, man? Right. I would rather raise my own son or daughter than to give her or him into a hand of another nation to do my job. I'm supposed to raise him to the to the law and custom and statutes of my people. That's, right. That's how it's supposed to be. That's right. And if we're hating for that, we're racist for that. Oh well. Okay. Because we're for our people. It's the same way the so-called white man is for his people. He set up laws and legislation to benefit right. them, okay, so that they can get ahead of us. So, so be it. I want my people to be on top. Right. That's why we out here, okay, so that you can come back to the Heavenly Father in righteousness and that you can be saved, man, right. or willing. Okay, so that we can rule the next uh, uh, age in righteousness, man, and show these damn nations how to do it. Right. This is a bigger picture, man. Yeah, we curse y'all out, but this is a bigger picture here, man. Rightfully so. You don't want to miss this first train. You don't want to miss the first resurrection. Right, oh, let me get that for you. You don't want to do it, man. That's going to be detriment to your uh, 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 your, your spiritual reputation. Uh, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that hath part in the first resurrection on such the second death. Have no power, but the second death is the lake of fire. The man that escaped, the family that escaped the first death, they're written forever. Right. Which was knowing his sons and his wives mm -hmm. and, and his wife. Right. Okay? And the scriptures tell you, things written the fourth time was written for our learning. So just like how they were saved and they were the elect of their time, we looking at that and we want that for ourselves. Yeah, I, I want that. <laughs> I want that, man. You know what I'm saying? Enoch. I want that. We want that for ourselves. I want that. And our families. I want that. I want to be able you to know? escape the second death. I want to be able right. to do I that. Want to I want to be able to see the Lord come back. I want him to tell me the downfall of our enemies. I want to see that. So in order for me to see that, there's certain things that I have to, we have to do. Okay, yes, everything is predestinated, yes. But there's a physical manifestation to certain things. Okay? Finish it up. Uh, blessed and holy is he, Revelation 12 and 6. Blessed and holy is he that had part in the first resurrection, on such the second death had no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Hamashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years. That's the good news, man. That's the good news. Man. That's the good news. So, yeah, you might think that we, yeah, he. Y'all being so hard on us, y'all been cursing y'all us out. But look, look what you about to inherit if you repent. Right. You're gonna reign with Hamashiach, man. You talking about fame in this society? The fame in the next world to come ain't gonna, ain't gonna, ain't gonna. Right. Come on, man. F fame in a, in a failing society. Come on, dog. A crumbling society. Now is the time to be looking for fame in this world. Man. It's through already. <laughs> <laughs> you should be seeking the Lord, man. You should be seeking your Savior, man. You know? It's Isaiah 16 15. It says, Whereas thou has been forsaken and hated, so that no man were, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency of joy of many generations. Lord gonna turn, he gonna basically turn the table. Right. Okay, we're gonna be go, we're gonna go from uh just rappers and athletes and discover the earth to the aristocrats of society. Right. See right now we're we're at the bottom of the barrel, women are twerking, they they're dancing on BT and you know, uh, we thugs, you know, and shooting each other in the streets. See, but the Lord got something better for us. Right. He got something better for us. And this, what we're doing, it's major. It's major. Even though we don't have thousands of people lined up listening to us right now, okay? 
But what we're doing, we're sowing seeds in the earth to our people. Sowing seeds of righteousness. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. So there are good things to come next. Jacob is the beginning of it. Okay, in which Jacob is what? The father of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay, which the Lord, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he's going to be the ruler over those people. So that, that's the mindset. We, 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 we fighting, okay? We're doing the work to try to bring to pass to his grandfather Abba Shemel Shai the next rulership. That's right. Okay? Because we're going to have to rule the next world to come, man. That's right. And that's what leaders do. They look ahead. Right. They're visionaries. See a far off. So people might say, people might sacrifice their lives on this side just to live it up. But that's not what visionaries do. That's not what men do. Leaders. Men are visionary. They look ahead. Right. Okay? And say, damn. Okay, the Lord is coming back. We don't know when, but guess what? We're going to do everything in our power while we're here and while we got breath in our body. Right. While we got breath still in our nostrils to try and put ourselves in a predicament to be saved right. by Him. Right. So that even if, you know, it's not right now, even if it's, we don't know, okay, that we can still have that spirit, because you have a spiritual reputation. That's why when men come back on the planet Earth, they come back into their lot. And the Most High knows who they are. And they, he knows what they did in their past life. Okay? We believe it, it, it'll be this lifetime, of course. But if we are those righteous men, we're coming back in our lot to be delivered, man. Be saved. We want to be saved, man. We want to do, we're out here because we're doing what the Lord told us to do. All right? To preach to the 12 tribes of Israel, tell them to repent and the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. Uh, fear the Lord and keep his commandments, which is the whole duty of mankind. That's right. That's right. All right. Uh, 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 make your body a living sacrifice unto the Lord, man. This is what we have to do. We have to do the work and the will of the Lord, man. The work and the will of the Lord is for us to be brotherly to all one another, but also warn our people of the impending dangers, man. And tell them to repent, turn back to the Lord. Yep. And you had... And, and, and prophecy is included in that. Right. You tell them prophecy. You tell them that the things that are going on in the world right now, okay, we told you in the beginning, Kill Bill released uh, uh, mosquitoes, and now all of a sudden, you know, come on, man. With your spiritual antennas are supposed to be clicking. Right. right away. Okay? They, they was, and he also warned about the next big one. Yep. He said that one's going to get your attention. That's what he said. All right. Next one is going to get your attention. So, okay, whoever doesn't listen, that's on y'all. You got it. <laughs> you got it. That's <laughs> crazy. Second Andrew nine and start at six. It says even so the times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith or by ye have believed. There you go, faith right. and works hand in hand. Right. Faith, man. If you don't believe you're not going to be saved, guess what? You're not going to be saved. You actually have to believe that the Lord is going to save you. you that actually has to come into your mind. The Lord right. is going to save you. It's right. If it doesn't, you're not going to be saved. Okay? you got to believe that. The Lord is not dealing with people who's, who's in the middle with him. Hey, we come... We come to his throne humbly but boldly. Lord, save me. Right. Yeah, okay? I, I hope it's in the Lord, man. Hey, the Lord. Okay. All right. Hey, the Lord hear you. Right. Lord, I know you can do all things. Right. Save me in my house. Right. Please. Yeah. <laughs> Please, Lord. I know you can do it. Yeah. You got to pray, man. You got to believe when you pray. And believe that it's done. Believe that it's in the motion already. Right. You gotta believe that. Especially in these crazy ass times of coming. <laughs> this 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 some crazy shit, man. Let me back up your part real quick. Um, 
Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You got to believe that the Lord going to get you out of I mean, the Lord will deliver us from all, all type of crazy ass situations, man. Hey, and the book of Psalms will tell you that it deliver, delivered them out of all their troubles. Hey, that's why the Lord have shit happen to you right now so that your faith can be boosted. Right. The Lord is going to deliver us out of things that mortal men seem, it seems impossible. Nothing is impossible with the most high. That's right. He... And he ain't like, uh, and hell like, damn, I don't know if I can do that one. <laughs> Never. I don't know, man. You got me with that one, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not the power we serve, man. The power we serve, he, hey, you know how Jake be like, he like that one. The power that we say, he's like that. Okay? And this is what we're out here to teach to our people. The God that we serve is no, he, he has no bounds. Right. Nothing is too hard for you. Limitless, boundless. Omnipotent, all right. powerful. All powerful. Um, Psalms 34, 17. The righteous cry and the Lord heareth. Hey, when you pray, man, keep praying. Don't you you know, you if you need something done, if you feeling all look, man, me. If if, 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 if I ain't man, I'm I keep praying. I keep I I bug them. Lord, man, I have to pray. I wait another uh, few minutes. Lord, please uh, keep praying. Right. Pray without ceasing, the scripture says. Keep praying, man. If it's of urgency, keep praying. Get on his nerves. Of course, these brothers that got the true name. That's what I'm talking to. Because if you don't got the true name, you're praying to uh, somebody invisible. Right. Another, I don't know what, what entity you're praying to. Lord is not hearing that. Hey, you... you Brothers that got children, they know. When your child wants something, he keeps tugging on you. Right. He, he'll tug on you. Right. Daddy, daddy, I want ice cream. Daddy, I want, and he's gonna keep saying it, and guess what? Until you give him the ice cream. Right. Brothers that got children know that. Right. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. I keep, if I'm sick, I, I, I keep praying. I keep nagging, get on his nerves. Which literally you can't do it, but you know y'all catch my drift, man. Right. Shit, right. we might be praying all through Jacob's trouble. Right. <laughs> yeah. well, that's what you do. Pray, man. There's, there's no limit on prayers. Right. You can pray two minutes, and in another two minutes, you can keep praying about the same thing. Lord, please, please, man. Please, I need help. Now, please help me. <laughs> First Thessalonians five seventeen. Pray without ceasing, man. There's no limit to this. The scripture says you can never go far enough. <laughs> you know you can't. All right, all right, here, man. Here, here's the ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know sometimes right. those kids, those kids, they, they, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that's how we gotta be with the Lord. Right. Oh, that's it's true, man. You gotta pray for stuff. Come Lord, on, man. Hey, remember, the, the more you keep the Lord in your mind, you know, the, more, the Lord loves that, man. Because you're thinking about it. You're right. Because we, if you imagine this, imagine if you're far off, like, you're not thinking about the Lord. That's not a good thing. Yeah. So the more you're thinking of him, it's, it's better for you. It is. <laughs> you know? you're, you're like, I know you can do it. That means if you have a need, he's gonna be nigh on to you. Because your ears always, you know what I'm saying? His ears keen to you because you're always thinking of him. You're always praying. Yeah. And we don't just pray to him in, 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 in bad times. So he want to honor that, man. Right. You know, and sometimes you just going to have to deal with it. Right. You know, I'm not saying all your prayers are going to be, you know, sometimes you just going to have to deal with it. Right. But yeah, yeah. what I'm saying is, this is the goal is still the prayer. The goal is still the prayer. That's the channel for you. That's right. And brother should be praying every day. Yeah. You should be praying every day. You should incorporate that into your routine, into your everyday life. Our righteous forefathers did that. You gotta pray, man. Psalms 34, 17. The righteous cry of the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. Hey, that's what the Bible says. So we're gonna roll with that. Right. 
The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord deliver him out of them all. The Lord is on our side. All right. Y'all brothers and y'all sisters got to remember that. He's on our side. He's not with these people. He's not with the wicked. He's with us. That's right. The Lord is with us. That's right. Okay? And you got to know that. Emmanuel. You got to know it. That's right. He, the Most High is your daddy. Okay? That's your father. The Most High is a father. He's active. He's present. He's not sleep. The Most High don't sleep, man. He don't need a nap. He don't need a, 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 a lunch break. Right. He's up. He's active. He's watching. He's a dad. Sorry. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Sirach 35, back up the prayer. Sirach 35 and 16 is he that served the Lord shall not be accepted with he that served the Lord, like he that served the Lord shall be accepted with favor, and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. That's talking about the righteous. His prayers shall pierce the clouds. So the Lord is with us. He hears your prayers. Right. Keep crying to him. Right. Keep begging him. Beg him. Man, let me tell you something, man. Look at what your forefather Jacob did. What did Jacob do when he wrestled with the angel? What did he tell the angel, I'm one? I ain't right. letting you I go. Ain't go let's not bless me. Come on, man. Right. With his joint on the thigh. With the thigh Come on, man. Thigh. This ain't no game out here. Right. We got one shot at this, man. Right. Y'all better stop playing. You better beg the Lord for what you want, man. Right. You better get on his nerves. When you think of your forefather, that's the mind hey, you should have. Jacob said, man, I ain't letting you go. You crazy? You gonna bless me? Right. Rather you, you holding the angel Lord, here. Lord, bless me, man, please. Right. I need you. Right. Ain't no shame in that. Hey, come on, man. Come on, man. He's our father. Hey, we come from that man. Right. That's our father, right? Right. He said, I ain't. He told an angel, an angelic being, that he's not going to let him go until he blesses him. <laughs> right. I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way. Go ahead, bro. It says, Sirach 35 and 17, or Ecclesiastes 35 and 17, is the prayer of the humble piercing the clouds. Until it come nigh, will not be comforted mm -hmm. and will not depart till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment for the lord for the lord will not be slack neither will the mighty be patient toward them See, he has spared and son the lords of the other and repay vengeance to the heathen See, he has taken away the multitude of the proud and broken the scepter of the unrighteous all right, so hey man, continue to pray, man. The Lord is hearing us, man. And when we send a curse to our enemies, the Lord hears us, man. Okay, and we are not comforted till, till it happens, man. That's right. Back to what the brother was saying. We, we, we ain't gonna stop. We're gonna keep bugging the Lord, man. I say we vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked, man. That's why you gotta pray every day, send curses every day. You know, pray for the downfall of your heathens, man. That's right, man. Quick preach, man. You got something? You got one? Hey, yeah. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, otherwise known as Sirach, chapter 43 and verse 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can, for even yet he will far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength, and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. So you can't. We say bugger, but you can't bugger. Right. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, so, yeah, hey, we hold on for dear life right now, man. Right. We hold on for dear life. We want a, we want our blessing, which is ultimately deliverance. First, De First Thessalonians 5 and 17. Pray without ceasing. There you go. There you go. There you go. Pray without ceasing, man. 
Okay? Our people, they're engulfed in wickedness right now. And then when Jacob's trouble cover, we were reading about, okay, when somebody they don't even have a relationship with, man, you know, they're going to try and pray to him then. That's what Ephesians, I mean, um, Hosea 5 15 goes into. He said he's going to go and return his place until they acknowledge the sins. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Because the Lord knows his people, man. He knows them. You can't outsmart him. You can't, you can't, you can't finesse the Lord. Yeah, you can't supplant or finesse the Lord. Come on, man. This wickedness, this wickedness shit got to stop, bro. This shit got to stop. And it's going to stop. It's going to stop. Right. You best believe that it's going to stop. But the way it's going to stop, you don't want to be caught in that judgment, man. Right. See, because we don't need to, we can read the scriptures and see that with the, the, the Lord, he don't play no games. Right. But some of y'all people, y'all going to have to witness that, man. Y'all going to have to get caught up in that. Uh, I got two quick ones. Uh, second Ezra chapter 5. Please, yeah. Because, uh, yeah, man. He was just speaking on, man. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't get it right, it, it's, it's not going to be beneficial for you, man. Uh, it says, second, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. So by, somehow, judgment is going to meet you, man, if you don't take heed to the word. It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance, man. So we are here to warn you, to tell you to repent and turn back to the Lord. You don't have forever to turn to him, man. You got to turn to him in, uh, in, uh, in, in his timing, man. Amen. And hope to hope that, that, that judgment doesn't meet you before you repent, man. See, but that's all Jake, that's what Jake do. It's just amen, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's just, like it's just, that's what I'm saying. Like God is an after -dump. It's just amen and you just keep going. See, our people don't know how to repent. Instead of stopping and ask, what do I need to do to be saved? Right. You know, what, what do I need to do to be saved? But you, you'll go to a job and ask them, what do I need to do to be hired? Right. For, your, for that stink ass job. Right. But that's what we were talking about earlier. They put the Esau's ways higher than the most high. Like he's the authority over God. You know, that, that old Christian amen shit and just keep walking. Right. That's bullshit. And guess what? That's not enough. <laughs> okay? That ain't enough. The prophets are on the earth. That amen shit ain't going nowhere. You better do something. Right. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 and verse 12. For man also knoweth not his time. And when I say amen, shit, I'm talking about that action. Okay? Because the word amen means so let it be. Right. Okay? You're saying so let it be, but you ain't doing nothing about it. You ain't doing nothing about it. I'm talking about you, that action. Just, uh, you know, that old Christian black shit. Amen. Amen. Right, keep going. What, the, what the fuck is that? But not inquiring. What's yeah. Going on. That's not going to fly, man. You're going you're gonna to get caught up by it, man. Y'all gonna be caught up by him, man. Yeah, when, you, when, the, when the twelve tribes shine, the scripture says that uh, Ezekiel thirty-seven chapter, or when thy people shall inquire, so they're supposed to inquire. What, what's this? What they're not doing? That they're just passing the same amen. You people are crazy. <laughs> hey, you people are sick and crazy and demented. <laughs> you know, I had a nigga at my job. A nigga looked me dead in my eye the other day. I ain't tell you brothers yet. I said, man, these niggas are crazy. He looked me dead in my eye. He said, Do I look like Jesus Christ? I said, this, this nigga crazy. I said, the nigga looked me dead in my eye with a straight face. No no laughing, no nothing. Uh, he said, Levi, <laughs> do I look like Jesus Christ? I said, I said, what? You know your brother's heard from Kukum? Oh. Okay. Like, like, I'm supposed to know exactly how he look. You niggas are crazy as hell, man. Don't go on that. No, look, man. Go ahead, man. Before I say, before, before I say something, man, I don't want to say. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Hey, man, nine. I'm not the one, man. I'm not the one. 
you niggas on the comment board, we're not gonna, we're not going to respond to you niggas no more. I'm not gonna do it. Ecclesiastes chapter nine and verse twelve. And if they don't adhere to the words of the Lord, <laughs> judgment is gonna respond to them. You know? And if you stop death to you, man, we're not in the, we're in the time of judgment. All right. This is not a sincere question. Yeah, for real. Fuck y'all. I hope your roof came in or something, man. A sinkhole come. <laughs> you know, we ain't got time for that, man. It's, it's not like it ain't happened before. Like, like, there needs to be a seriousness to come back to our people. It's like everything we're involved in as so-called black people, it's, it's like memes and challenges and laughs and gig shits and giggles, you know? It's like the men of the Lord, the only serious men on the planet. Like, we're the only serious men. Like everybody else, they just be playing around so much, man. Am I tripping? Like I, I don't, I don't see too many serious men. Are you not? Like it, maybe that's an American thing. <laughs> Go ahead, people bro. Are, these people are dumbed down. Ecclesiastes chapter nine verse twelve. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net. And as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. So yeah, you, you're not gonna know when that time will come. When, especially, you ain't turning to the Lord and repent. You keep going about your own way to do your own thing, willfully sinning. Yep. Okay, and you've been told about this word. Yep. Okay. Which goes back to you Hebrew Israelites. A lot of you wearing fringes, smoking cigarettes, Smoking cigarettes with fringes on. Crazy, man. See? You're gonna fuck around and find out. You're gonna fuck around and find out soon. You're gonna see niggas with fringes dying. This is uh, Amos chapter 6 and verse 3. Ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seat of violence to come near. You keep putting off the day of the Lord, okay? You, you only bring in judgment, you, you allowing judgment to get near you, man, okay? <laughs> Except you repent, you keep putting off that day. Because no man know at the time or the hour, man, you be caught in an evil death. You see? You can't keep putting off the day of the Lord. Yep, because see, if, you, if, if anybody went fishing, you hook a bait at the end of your line. You put the bait on the hook and you throw it in the water. But to a fish, it looks like food. Right. They can't see the line. They can't see the hook. So when the fish bites the food, they don't know that they about to die. Right? Right. He caught in an evil net. He caught in an evil net, an evil snare, which is a trap. Right. So you people out there, you keep playing games, the law is going to go fishing on the left hand side. <laughs> and you're going to take the bait. Like a lot of you took the bait with, with the juice. God only knows what was in that thing, man. For real, bro. Like I'm still meditating on that. That whole like 2020 shit. It was an agenda. Like like that shit was like, that, that shit really was a, a heavy time. Because we had never seen nothing like that in in, 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 in our lifetime. Right. That should have been like a reality check. Like it was like it was a heavy spirited like yeah. niggas was like really spooked out about that shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and niggas fell for it. Like what nigga, what you ever seen Felchi on the shade room, nigga? The way they, they pushed it so hard, you, you should have been like, hold up, man. Why are these people basically begging me to get a uh, 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 vaccine? They didn't really pay me. Like, why they, why they, hold up, what's going on, man? Hey, fuck, <laughs> who's reading, man? Go ahead. Uh, First Peter chapter five, verse eight. It says, be sober. And this is why we got the scriptures, man. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, Walking to boat, seeking whom he may devour. This man is trying to seek whom he may devour. So if he was a low lying fruit, he gonna get you, man. You gonna be taken because you don't want to adhere to the words of the Lord, man. Okay. 
And when the Lord, in the book of Job, second chapter, when the Lord called his sons, okay, and Satan came among them, the Lord asked him, where, where are you coming from? He said, from walking to and to, uh, uh, to and fro in the earth, man. Yep. The adversary is loose, man. Okay? You got to be sober and vigilant, man. Okay, the, the scripture said to be circumspect, man. Yep, a lot of you niggas going to get on that, them buses too, man. I already see it through the spirit, man. The Lord willing, the Lord honor my words. Because cause I got a feeling when these, uh, when the lights go out, he going to try and help you, man. Get on the bus, man. You got food over here, you got water over here. Right. Don't get on that bus. Yo, look at the kids, you know, the kids get on the bus. You going to see him and let your kids starve, bro? And then the black woman going to be looking at you like, He's gonna let my kids starve. Oh, I'm leaving. <laughs> you better get you better get on the bus. I'm not getting on that bus, man. So so what we we went the first 30 minutes was we was going into being a man. Cause shit is about to happen. So you gotta and we we all over the place, but hey, it's the spirit. Be a man, make righteous decisions. Right. Remember the scriptures. Because in real life scenarios, you still have to remember. Right. You still got to be locked in in the spirit, man. Uh, we got to remember these scriptures. Oh, yeah. Uh, never trust thy enemy. Oh, hell no, man. You get on a, get on a, get on a button, an Edomite might drive it. Or it could be a Jake driving. He's wicked as hell, too. Right. <laughs> Part of the oh, if, if, if it's a black woman, you know you going to a camp. <laughs> <laughs> the big booty uh, bus drivers. <laughs> black woman. Don't get on the bus, man. Okay, the scriptures say, oh, you should be pickles upon the earth. Remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, I got Ephesians. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly. Not as fools. But that's wise. So we read the scriptures, but you still have to play out real life. Right. You still have to use wisdom in real life. Apply it. Bill Gates' name ain't written in the Bible. Fauci's name ain't written in there, but okay, damn, those are the wicked. Right. And in there as the wicked. Okay? <laughs> so you gotta play it out, brothers right. and sisters. We gotta play this thing out, man. And the adversary. Okay, when the lights go out, the Lord say he's going to defend me and protect me. He's going to feed me. He's going to clothe me. Isaiah 10. Let's remember. Get Isaiah 10. Remember these scriptures, brothers and sisters. This goes for us, too. Because we read them over and we listen to them over and over and over. We got to live. We got to play it out. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now, how much more now? Are they evil? Even more. Exactly. Come on, man. So, yeah, we, we, we talk real life stuff to y'all, man. We talk real life stuff to y'all because this is real life. And we read it out in the Bible and we point it out. Well, as, I ten, as I said, 10, start at 20. It says, And this shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel. And such as are and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote that smote them, but shall stay upon the Lord Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Right. Why still the elect of so-called black side two Native Americans? Then we're not going to depend upon you know Esau, and we're not going to depend upon okay uh uh uh, uh, uh the Babylon man. This system, right? This right. system. So. You're not supposed to be uh don't don't corrupt your morals or integrity to, to be incorporated with this system because this system is going down yep. the lord yahweh shah is coming back to destroy the system okay. so why the fuck would we corrupt our relationship with the most high and his son for some goddamn uh uh, uh section eight of food stamps right. come on man failing nation what the what like why would y'all do that for some of you y'all gonna do it anyway y'all gonna do it anyway to what? Have the same miserable lives, right. to sleep with that same whore, to live the same born. It's still a miserable life anyway, man. Right. Right. I say, uh, they that they that seek to save their lives shall lose it, and those that lose their life for His name's sake shall find it. Bro, they, they don't even live in life. You're a slave, right. man. You ain't even living. Right. Right. Same devil. 
that song is Jack, you know, his uh, Georgia Gotcha, now you want to drop the population to find your money. Yep. I said 10 and 21. It's the remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The, con the consumption, the cringe, shall will flow right. That's what we're preaching to the remnant. Those that, that, that got the ears to hear. Okay? Huh? That, that we're compelling them and bidding them to the marriage. Okay? Whoever, whoever listens to it and they're compelled. That's for them. Because when you hear these words, when you first hear them, you cut like, oh shit, damn. Well, I was dead wrong. <laughs> I know I was. When I first heard it, like, oh shit, damn. I was calling on the wrong name. I was doing the wrong thing. You're supposed to feel sorry. So if you're getting cursed out and, and you know, and you feel hurt, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. You could be part of that righteous. Because right. the righteous going to feel that way, man. The elect are real. That's one of the first steps. Man. Okay? The elect are real, man. The elect I ain't bitch ass niggas. The elect, they real. Just like your house I was real. Hey, look, man, I, I, I'm wrong. Admitting your fault, I'm, I was dead ass wrong. The elect ain't gonna be no bitch ass niggas and, and you know, be like, all right, now, you know. No, man. But your man gonna know what he meant when he's wrong. You know, a, 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 a woman man is gonna be like, nah, you know, try to try to justify his cause and shit. You know, the reason why I did this and that, because this and that. <laughs> Bro, you're wrong. You're wrong. Dead, we was dead wrong in our transgressions, right. man. You know, we, when we had the spiritual read of Isaiah 54 towards the end, yeah. like damn, man. When I think that was towards the end, and then when it, I went to Jeremiah, the first two chapters, yeah. saying Israel dealt treacherously with the Lord. Like we did the Lord wrong, man. The Lord ain't deserve that. The Lord took care of us in the wilderness. He ain't deserve all that complaining. He didn't. Come on, man. He, de he deserved praise. We ain't de no. We deserve everything, and the Lord still said that. He doesn't even judge us by our transgressions. The Lord didn't deserve what we did to him. And you're supposed to be sorry. Right. Yeah, that thing, that thing too, you should, okay. Hey, you gonna, you should be buried the indignation of the Lord, because you sin, we sin against That's him. That's right, we, we sin walk. against him. Right. Every day I gotta get up and go to work, you know, and we gotta get up and go to work, or we gotta do shit, or, or we ain't got enough money, or whatever the hell, it's still hell. Whatever we gotta do or we ain't got enough of, that's we deserved it because we sinned. Right. We cheated on our husband more than once. You know? We deserve. It. So whatever, you know, hey, sometimes we just gotta deal with it and, and, and beg for mercy. Right. And favor. Yeah. You know? And another thing too, like when we go through, we don't even it could always be worse. The Lord don't give you something that you can't uh, handle. So you see how merciful the Lord constantly yeah. being. Like, true. He'll bring a judgment, but you know, I'm going to be merciful. He, exactly. That's why King David, when he was given those three options, he said, man, I just fall in the hands of the Lord. Because right. he right. know the Lord is so merciful. Right. right. He know that the Lord is pitiful. The scriptures say the most high is pitiful. Right. Like, he pities us, man. Because he know our frame. He, he remember that we are just dust. You know how we look at, you, we got seeds and brothers, they got children. You got to remember that the Lord is higher than, than that program. Right. We're, he look at, as a, we're his children, but remember, he, he like he formed us from dust. Yeah, right. So he understands, you know what I'm saying? And Yahweh shy too, because he actually came down and lived as a man. So he's pitiful on us too, man. Got something to edify upon. And the brother, that was beautiful, because I was meditating on that the other day, yesterday too, man. Know. It could always be worse. That's why it's so hard to complain because it could always be worse. Right, always be you know, worse. you like when I think about like, yeah, okay, yeah, but think about another brother's situation or just our us as a whole. Because right. remember, we it's a nation of people. Yeah. You got Israelites in, in different countries, they don't got nothing, bro. Bro, you know that's the spirit that you said that? Me and Captain Lawyer just did a video about you know Jake yeah, I, I was Jake complaining about fifteen dollars an hour. You got Israelites in other places, they don't even got no internet or nothing. They gotta go to work and they get paid when uh, compared to the US dollar, it's one dollar a day. And, yep. And you got Jake's in those other countries, they gotta walk to work. Right. And they gotta walk home. Are they complaining? You uh, got a car, nigga. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can call, you can call you got, 
You got a car, you got Ubers. In those countries, they can't call out. They don't got no fucking vacation time. <laughs> All right? So th that's what I'm saying. It could always be worse. Right, right. man. You, the Lord could have had you an Israelite over there in, 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 in Africa. And, and I like to watch those those uh, documentaries. There's documentaries of people going over there looking at how other right. people live. Right. Israelites live. Right. Man. Where there is no faucet they could turn on. And water comes out. They actually gotta go to the water source and bring it, bring it back. Now I wanna say, man, hey, even in captivity, the Lord is spoiling his, his, his Lord, children. And, and I'm gonna keep it real. You know, us brothers over here in America, Damn. and we gotta be real, man. Right. Okay, we gotta be real. The Lord, hey, man, the Lord still hook us up. Because we could have been an Israelite in a third world country. Right. Okay. Right. He gave us the truth. We got central air in our house. Right. Cars. Cars. We only need a walk. We only need a walk miles to go to yeah. to a well to go get water. Water. To we shower. We fucking got Uber Eats and Starbucks and shit. Right. Come on, man. The Lord, hey man. The Lord is merciful and it can always be worse. Yep. Even though we're in captivity, but it can always be worse. Man. Always be worse. You know the Lord give us jobs, man. Come on, man. Stop all that, stop all that complaining, man. You know, talking to ourselves first and foremost, all that extra complaining is not worth it, man. Okay? That's what Jake was doing in the wilderness. Man, what, what is, what Murmuring, is, complaining. And Moses and Aaron said, you're not complaining to me, because I'm not the most high. You're complaining to him. Right. He the one who brought you out of captivity. Man, what is this saying? That's man? why when brothers be like, hey, yo, man, I can't complain, man. The brothers know I said I can't complain. Right. I can't, because I know my situation could be worse. Right? You gotta bear it, whatever the affliction. I got my Sometimes you gotta roll with the punches, baby. That's what we're gonna do when it's sit in the family. We're gonna roll with it, baby. We, whatever, bro, hey, we're gonna roll with it. Go, you got it, brother. <laughs> uh, Micah 7 and 9. I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. Until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light. And I shall behold his righteousness. So no matter what we go through, we still got to bear the indignation of the Lord. No, no. We, 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 this, is, this is the land of our punishment, man. No, we no. here to serve a punishment. You got it. I'm not going to get misconstrued. I'm not saying that you can't complain, okay? Because the scriptures speak about the righteous man complaining, okay? Right. I'm not saying that you shouldn't complain to the Lord for your, for, your, for your situation. But we're pointing out certain scenarios in which how us brothers over here in America got it better than other brothers in other work, uh, other countries. Right. And we're also pointing out, hey, trust in the Lord. Okay? Because you can complain. You can, hey, you can come to the Lord, Lord, you know. But hey, another thing too, do not, don't forsake the Lord, man. All right? Don't depart from the Lord. Yeah, your struggles, you're, you're, you're going through what you're going through. Complain to the Lord. Yes, the Lord's here to give an ear and listen to what you're saying. But also, I feel like, hey, man, you know, I gonna let this overly bother me. I know the Lord got me. God. Okay? Yep. Cause it can always be worse. And this brother's going through worse things than me. Yep. I wanna bring this out. This is first Timothy chapter six, verse verse eight. Yep. And having food and raiment, let us let us be therefore content. Alright, NLT. So if we have enough food and clothing, let us be content. Alright, so yep. hey, we have to be content. Uh, you uh, know? And this goes for us and and for you know. Right. Brothers too, because sometimes you might not have no money in your pocket, but your refrigerator might be full and you got gas in your tank. Right. right. Or you might be, hey, the Lord always have it that we we eat, you know. Hey, you may wake up, you don't got no money, you know, but the Lord just have money come in your account or something, and you're able to eat. Of course, it's not gonna be your top delicacy. Yeah. You might not, you know, you might not get the, the lamb sauce, yeah. the mashed potatoes. <laughs> but but the Lord will give you that every once in a while. Right. right. You see what I'm saying? Right. He'll give it to you every once in a while. Right. Hey, you might need a bear eating a, a, a five dollar pizza. Yeah. For that night. Call on him like y'all about some outside. You know. You know. You know. We we're, we're kings, so it's like you know when we want something, we want something. Yeah. So sometimes we may complain, but hey, hey. We wouldn't have to complain. We wouldn't need to go through all these, uh, go through these different things if we only hearken, hearken and been obedient to the heavenly Father and His Son. Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's the importance. Seeing, seeing the situation that we're in now, and meditating upon it, and humbling ourselves, and, and saying, you know, coming back with our head down, like Lord, <laughs> right. sorry, I'm sorry, right. <laughs> right. I get it. You know, 
get and it. That's, that's what we are here to do. And, and, and that's what we preach to our other brothers and sisters out there too, man. Okay? Yep. Any code of precepts? Okay, that's it. And we want to give all praises on and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the elders and apostles at Great Millstone that rule well. And uh, sh Shalom to the elect throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Shalom. And the Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba. 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 Kwam Yasharat. Kwam Yasharat. Shalom. 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 Shalom.